In this lecture, we'll learn how to do differentiation and integration of our data. So when you come to origin and you head over to analysis, mathematics, and you can see differentiation and integration here. So let's start with differentiation. Open a dialog box. So from the dialog box, you can see that we have calculate derivatives of x and y data so that is what we are trying to do and you need an input so let's select our a and b column so this selects sheets one and then you have a column a and column b selected we can also choose the derivative order let's select one this is just a first derivative we can also add some smoothening if we want and we can show where the output goes. Let's choose the output to go to to go to D. Okay, and hit OK. So this is it. So this this is our new derivative solved. Let's go ahead and plot this and see the result. Great, so we have y of x as our sine function, that's a black, and the first derivative is the red. So if you have a sine function and you differentiate, you get a cos function. So this is a cosine. Okay, that is great. So let's continue. So to do integration, you head over to analysis and then mathematics and come to integrate and head over to open dialog box so from this we should choose where our integral goes let's choose our input first let's choose a and b so a and b which is our sine function has been selected and you can choose the area type either mathematical or absolute let's stick with mathematical and you can choose your output quantities if you want some of these if you want to choose where it begins and ends you can do that you can also come in and choose your integral curve data and add some range if you want and your integration result can also be shown yeah so okay there we go so it gives us this, this is what happened it did this for us and it gives us the area of integration so if we chose plot we would also see area of integration in there so you can see all the information is in here let me zoom in and there you go so you have your full width at half maximum and you have all these information in here so let's see the results by plotting so let's plot our sine function and plot the integral you head over to plot and you can do line so yeah so this is our sine function and this is the integral now if you integrate a sine function the result is a cosine plus a constant so it's a negative of, of a cosine so this is the negative of a cosine and plus a constant so it pushes it up so that is correct so that is basically how you do integrals you can always also just plot and from your plot so let's say you plot this come to lines and symbols and you see the gadget too so you can always come to differentiate or integrate so let's try differentiate and you can choose the derivative and it chooses this area you can head over and expand to full plot and once you zoom out you can see the effect over here as well so this is our plot and then this is the integral this is the derivative so this is the first derivative 
you can however come in and also choose show second derivative so this is the second derivative so this is how you can also play with your plots you can always do some derivatives and integrals of your data set also you can do some data manipulation by coming to analysis data manipulation and you can do subtract reference data duplicate reduce duplicate x data reduce by group so all of these are basic things that you can also do using origin and use to duplicate or manipulate your data so that will be all for this section always note that you can do a lot of math with your data using origin